Daily Planet. Boost up the RPM and here we go, he's taking flight. Mark Miller embeds his mind and his body and gets blown away in the fly zone. It's Tuesday, and that means it's time for another edition of Embedded with Mark Miller. To get today's show off the ground, Mark suits up and finds out what it's like to cheat gravity by flying in the only mobile wind tunnel in Canada. It's the ultimate rush for adrenaline junkies, free falling at up to 200 kilometers an hour. But cheating gravity like this can't last more than a few seconds. If you're free falling, 45 seconds to a minute. Skydivers have always wanted more airtime, and in the mid 80s, they got it. a Canadian invention called the levitation area. But indoor skydiving has its own limitations. Lower speeds and those big baggy suits make it difficult to perform intricate tricks. Peter Zaurelic is out to change all that. Clear. This is the fly zone. It's the first and only mobile wind tunnel system in Canada, and it definitely is one of the most advanced in the world. A 1,000 horsepower diesel monster that can pump out wind speeds of up to 200 kilometers an hour. The minimum that you need to fly on is like 1.2 million cubic feet a minute. And so we're doing twice that. Skydivers can now perform unbelievable tricks with the flick of a wrist. It's all about body control, either grasping more air or pulling back or turning your hands for aerodynamics. There's no world champion skydivers that aren't using these things daily. This is kind of like a magnifying glass for skydiving, right? Mm -hmm. Any problem that you've got in the sky, this will amplify it a hundred times. Where the fly zone could be built, Peter and Shane had to work out some unique problems. Anytime you block airflow with anything, right, they create turbulence. Early designs featured airplane props that were simply turned backwards to push air upwards. It's just like flying on prop wash, right? There's nothing to stop the air from the big continuous turn that it's doing, right? The solution came from these simple blue veins. Located above the prop, they're angled just enough to smooth out the airflow and direct it towards the center of the propeller. The turning vanes help to redirect the air in the upward motion. Creating all this airflow is this state-of-the-art carbon fiber prop. It's taken months to dial it in and to get the pitch just right. Clear. And if you overload the propeller by turning the pitch too high, you're creating a lot of pressure back through the gearboxes, back to the engine, of course, so it's, uh, it's finding that happy medium. Once the airflow problems were literally smoothed out, Peter ran into another challenge. He wanted the fly zone to be truly portable. We can roll up to an event, have it all leveled, ready to go, and we can be flying people within an hour. And beyond that, he wanted to be able to fly skydivers without the restrictions of a plexiglass dome. Being able to fly your body freely in there, it's, especially for these professionals, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty amazing machine. For expert skydivers, the ability to fly open air is breathtaking. For those on the ground, it's just simply unbelievable. Oh my God, so we saw you guys. We saw the guy flying next to the train. But to truly appreciate it... Looking straight up at me? You have to ride it. With just a few minutes of ground school, they say I'll be able to keep gravity. You hold that, you should be flying sweet, all right? Okay. Go ahead and jump up. How does that feel, Mark? Feels, uh, feels interesting. <laughs> I hope it's easier in there. First indication that I'm going to get bounced around a little bit. All right, do it. It's like a bicycle. Right, once you find your balance, you like your overtime. All right, do it. I'm getting ready to boost up the RPM again. Here we go, he's taking flight. Now Shane's going to take him up to a new level here. We're going to head on up the tube here. And he's doing all right, his first flight here. My brief flight lasts just about a minute, the equivalent of one skydive from 15,000 feet. Felt oh, good. I'm a little bit unstable, you obviously. You good, man. You were doing awesome. You're physically a little bit tiring, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, physically take something out of you. Exactly, but you did an excellent job, man. Good job. Thanks a lot. You yep. Guys know. 
The Fly Zone is barely a year old, but Peter is already dreaming up an extreme new model. So there's still things that we'd like to do to improve. He's ordered a bigger engine that he says will be able to lift bigger payloads higher than ever before. It's an endless quest to bring the thrill of skydiving back down to Earth. But I'm Dan Riskin. Thanks for watching. I'm Zai Tong. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.